so when I originally made this policy, um, it really upset some people. Um, I'm going to explain to you now what caused me to have to make the no drunk policy and why I have a no drunk policy and why it doesn't pertain to one person as much as they want to take it as personally as they do. It pertains to a number of people. Um, Okay, I'm going to name the people who who this pertains to so far. We got Distant Warrior, TJ, uh, Mr. Karaoke, I want to say his name, and my ex-co-host. Um, the first red flag of why I have this policy is because of a, an event with TJ that he's he was the one that st started me to start considering this policy. Um, I was doing a Mando review, and I had George on. I think Risey might have been there. I can't remember. It, it was it was the three of this, and then uh, TJ came in the chat drunk, and he was um, I didn't realize he was this drunk. And he was wanting to come on and talk about the Mando and all this. So I'm like, okay, have you seen the episode? And he said yes. So then I'm like, okay, well, then you can come on and we'll talk about it. So I bring him on and he didn't even answer me for a couple of minutes. And then he was just laughing. And I could tell how smashed he was then. And then uh, he said, I haven't seen the episode. Don't spoil it for me. And then George and him start having this fight. And George was really pissed off. I don't blame George for being pissed off. And he's like, oh, well, you should have done something. And I'm like, oh, I'll just let you fight it out. I'm not going to like just, I just let him fight it out. And then I ended up ending the stream and privating it. And then I had to go redo a new Mando review. And um, that was that was my first red flag. I'm like, okay, this that was not good. That was it just ruined the show. We couldn't do anything, and it just it just didn't work. Um, the second one is troll show related. Um, and if I know if I bring this up, it'll be taken personally, but. I'll just leave it at that. It was troll show related. The next one is uh, Distant Warrior. Distant Warrior, I tried to bring him on the troll show. Um, I think the first show went semi-okay. He was he was pretty smashed, but it, it seemed to have gone okay. So I thought, okay, maybe we can have him on here if my ex-co-host doesn't want to come on. So then I get uh, my ex-co-host and him on there, and um, boy, was that a mistake. Uh, those two just killed the entire vibe of that show. Uh, I had to stop the show because they were fighting so much, and then I just, I had to side with my ex-co-host then because I had his back then. So I'm like, well, I can't do this distant, you know? I mean, you're a guest host, so. There went distant. Um, Ant, I haven't had any real problems with. Um, the only real complaint I have about Ant is he won't leave uh, Risey alone. He keeps having to fuck with Risey. And, and, you know, if he comes on to my show, I tell him, I say, you, you have to leave him alone while we're on here. If you want to do this shit on your channel, that's fine. I mean, it hasn't become an issue so far. So, fingers crossed. Um, the other guy, Mr. Karaoke, um, I just think that he was... I don't really think he meant any of that. I don't know. I mean, I don't really... I think if that guy just focused on his music... His shit would explode. Like I said, I was 
outside of that bar with that really well-known e-girl who saw his show and was going, wow, this guy's really good. What's his name and all this? And then two minutes later, it's <laughs> F me and all this. And then she kind of like, she's like, uh, uh, why did he do that? And I'm like, I, I, I'm not going to hold nothing against him. I, I don't really have. I've already said my piece about him, and he has a good karaoke show. That's all I can tell you. I mean, I, that show would explode if he would just focus on it. The music's good. He knows how to sing really well. Um, other than that, it's nothing personal against him or any of these people. And to be honest, there might be future people that I might have to apply this policy to because – I do formatted shows where we're discussing topics. We're either reviewing something or laughing at something or we, we, we're not doing, un, I, I can't really say it's scripted, but I, I don't do these shows where I just bring a bunch of people on and it's a bunch of dead air and then we just start talking shit and all this. That's just not what I do. Um, other channels have, there's plenty of that at other channels. You could do that at all of those. That's just not for me. I like to be topical and discussing something and have a point to my show. So I hope I cleared that up because I noticed that I got sent something from, I guess it was a couple of days ago, maybe last week or something where, uh, that they were really mad about this trunk policy thing, but it's nothing personal to them because I'll treat TJ and Distant Moy and whoever else just the same if they can't even talk or they're passed out on the show. I mean, geez, you know, I don't know what else to say there. Okay, let's uh, talk about the next topic. Um, I would appreciate that while I'm streaming, uh, we don't discuss ex-co-host or shit on them, please. Um, I just don't want to be doing that. I don't. I've seen it being done to me, and it keeps getting sent to me. But I'm not doing any of that shit here. I, I don't want to ruin my vibe of the show or have it turn into a, a bash fest because somebody got blocked or something. Um, other than that, I, I think we're doing pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not threatening to ban anyone or do anything to anyone. Um, I'm just saying, you know, could we please not do this in the chat? Because there's people that are still trying to cause a mess here, I notice. And I don't want to fight with these people anymore. It's just it's just pointless. Um all right. All right. Um this I notice has upset certain people. And I've had people before this, uh, I've noticed that got mad about it. Like, everybody loves Cthulhu, didn't like this. And uh, he said, can we see somebody else or something? And I did show some other ones, but I have to go with the funny ones because a, a lot of these gals are just, um, well, I shouldn't say a lot of them, but it depends what they're doing at the time. That's probably the better way to put it. Because if I have one that's sitting there looking at Pokemon cards and not really doing much else, nobody's going to watch that very long. Because, uh, I mean, they might see the Pokemon cards and want to know, but they'll, they'll get bored fast. Or if uh, another one is just uh, laying back in a chair like, talking about they have to be doing something so i only show them when they're going to like universal or 
the IRL stuff. And uh, Boney Jen's a really good one, but I, she don't stream hardly that much now. But that one, you'll see her, um, she'll be walking around like South Korea and stuff. And that stuff I could watch for hours. I really enjoy that because I like seeing how it, what it looks like in other countries. Um, hold on a minute. Kiara, she was um, in China, but the, the connection was shit. But I would have showed that. I, I mean, China, I was really shocked. That's how China is. I was like, wow, this, it was very strange, man. Like, I've never, I wish I could have shown that. Because I'm just like, what the fuck is this? It's really, uh, it's really out there. Like, I just, I was like, what the hell is this? Um, if it upsets you, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you, but, um, I, I really don't want to be sitting here on panels talking about the guy in the basement who's mad at a black man who's more successful. There's plenty of other shows doing that. And it, that, that is boring as fuck to me. I'm sorry. At least Raptor makes it fun. But most of these shows, it's just like, I just don't give a fuck. You know, Ra Raptor and Wiggle are the only ones I see having fun in there. And they don't even like CG. What does that tell you about that community? It's like the people who hate it are the ones having the most fun. And they're the most entertaining on top of it. So I'm not going to tell you not to watch my channel. All I could say is come back later. But. If you want to give it a chance, I'm telling you, man, it sure beats that fucking garbage. And I'm, I'll be playing games and stuff, too, and doing other stuff. It's not just, that isn't all of my content here. So, I don't know. That's pretty much all the stuff I wanted to, uh, oh, here, I want to show this. We'll bring this up. Um. My my channel's not doing bad. I'm getting by considering what happened to it. And a B minus considering I had a D a year or two ago. So I'm still not sure how I'd make twenty seven grand a year doing this. You know. Monthly earnings I'd be earning earning two grand. <laughs> how would I be earning two grand a month on here twenty seven? The funny thing is, I seem to be doing better now, even when I'm when I'm not even. I'm hardly doing anything on here. I mean, yeah, I'm uploading videos here and there, but I've cut way back on streaming and all of this shit. I mean, I'm just not doing as much, and I seem to be doing better. Go explain that to me. Like I, I don't know, man. Like. Anyways, uh, monthly gain subscribers up and down, up and down, up and down. Oh, September took a dive. Let's see here. Well, they don't show October yet. What is it? Yeah, they don't show October yet, I guess. Oh, when, that seems to be how it is. I go up and down, up and down, you know. Monthly gain video views. So I'm going, I took a dive in January, and then it went back up in May, and then it went back down to, uh, you see this? I just keep doing this. This, this. this is probably the best representation. I'm just chugging along here. <laughs> um, something else that I want to discuss, too, is um, I, I went into somebody's channel tonight because there, there wasn't hardly anything to watch tonight. and. Um, I noticed they had a striker in there on the panel uh, screeching away about Blade Runner. Um, I've unsubbed from that person. Um, look, this dude has tried to take my channel down for a very long time. Um, if these people want to associate with him and have their struck, that's their problem, but... 
I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna walk, sit there and listen to him screeching about Blade Runner when that dude lost his fucking channel. He should not even be on here. But YouTube don't give a fuck. I proved to YouTube that he banavated, and they did nothing. They they don't give a fuck. So, anyways, uh, my my channel is. I would just say it's it's not dying. It's getting by. You know, I mean, it could be better, but it could always be better. Um, I, I just don't have much to stream about, honestly, unless there's something funny going on. Um, I would have liked, honestly, to kept doing the troll show personally, but uh, that got blown out of the water. Imagine if we had been doing the troll show still all this time and we didn't have any of this. Imagine where we'd be right now. I'd probably even be able to get her to come on or even watch it or something. I can't guarantee anything, but uh, I feel very confident I probably could have done something, but oh well. All I do now is try to get all the the troll shows on the rumble because Mr. Going to strike my channel if I don't get rid of them. So that's all I'm doing every day is getting those off, off of my uh, YouTube on the rumble. That's where they'll, that's where the troll show will be. Mostly is on rumble. Rest in peace. Troll show. Sadly. I had ideas for other shows and stuff, but uh, all of this crap has just, uh, all this bullshit I've had to deal with really is just, I had a bunch of stuff I shouldn't have had to deal with. Uh, I had somebody just, I, I still don't know why, um, insanity I had to deal with. I've kind of just lost my will with streaming and all this. And then I went to take a break and all hell broke loose. Had night hour EFAPs about me and just craziness. I've never seen such, like, my God. End of the world because I'm taking a break. I mean. Anyways. If there's something funny or worth talking about, I'll stream it. Other than that, um, I'll probably be doing uploads. Um, just want to thank people here. Uh, Eric Boyd, um, Grim Adams, Shrebbles, Apex, uh, Chris Stanley, my regulars here, Hervé. I see those guys in there the most, and I really appreciate you guys showing up on my channel. Um, I appreciate everybody else that shows up in the chat. Everybody's welcome here. But um, what I saw tonight with that person with Finity on there, that really blew my mind, man, because I want nothing to do with that. I don't. As far as I'm concerned, channel striking people should be wiped off the internet man that's total fucking bullshit as far as i'm concerned um i guess that's it uh thanks for watching and uh i hope you understand what's going on with my channel all right bye